Testing. Testing. Come in, Blue Leader. Hello. My name's Aaron Lucas. Welcome to Aaron Lucas Guitars. Welcome back, Aaron Lucas Guitars. Please like, subscribe, follow, comment, do all the stuffs. Um, and check out my other um, social media accounts on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I, I do a lot talking about wood um, and or um, showing pictures of wood, especially on, on Instagram. And I kind of wanted to give, I don't think I've ever given an overview of what exactly uh, the plan is. The plan is obviously to build guitars, but why do I show so much uh, wood constantly? because it's beautiful, um, because I love all of it. Um, but one thing I hope, as anyone working with wood knows, there are obviously woods that are better for certain things um, within a species. Like you, you have six boards in front of you, three are gonna be um, perfect for your job, um, one's not gonna work at all, and two you can make work if you mess up the other three. Um, so it's the same thing in uh, the world of guitars. Um, take a billet and you slice 10, 10 pieces out of it, you know, you might have six that are great and four that are terrible and have, have no tone to them, um, no musical potential. Um, I have been gathering every bit of wood that I can to sort through, learn the diversity of the species and learn characteristics to look for out of each species um, to determine uh, quality at first glance. Because one big difficulty where I live, um, there's, there's not close, and I got three kids, so I don't, I'm not really going anywhere, is there's, there's some music repair stores, but nobody is teaching acoustic guitars. Um, I think in upstates, there's one or two people who have tone wood potential uh, wood for sale, but uh, otherwise there's nobody in the area for our, we have a, a, a thriving music community here in the Charleston area, and there isn't, there doesn't seem to be any sort of Lutheran community. So a goal in trying to source the best material for me to build with, um, I, I, I buy in large amounts, sort through it all, learn about the species, um, and then have a, a vast selection to choose from. Um, this also gives me an overabundance of stock. Now I would love it if my kids end up um, following my footsteps in woodworking and eventually guitar building. Um, if they don't, then I've got I have a huge amount of stock outside of if you know, they do it and, and then their kids do it. Um, so one thing I'd like to offer to people in the local community that are interested in building is the ability to hands-on choose the materials you're working with and not just do it um, via, via the internet. Um, for someone who is starting, the best thing, especially if they don't have a huge woodworking background, the best thing to do is to get hands on boards and look and feel and talk with someone who is, is moderately or heavily educated um, in what they're looking for and about the different species and the potential of each species. So one of the goals outside of building guitars is to eventually offer tone. And so I'm, I'm gathering, as you can see, there are, are, are sets behind me um, and billets that are partially sawn or sawn and waiting. Um, and this, is across the board. This is sustainable species that are not um, CITES listed. This is the sinker cypress that, I, that I'm trying to introduce and get into people's hands to say, what do you think? Um, how would you use this? What do you think it's good for? But then in my wood search endeavors, you, you come across stashes of wood um, that are now listed on CITES, but when they were brought into the country, I, you know, I have stock 25, 30 years old, is when it was brought into the country, it was all picked through, and what was left was things that people didn't feel like messing with because of checks or a little bit of rot or worm wormholes. Um, so they looked at the wood as um, not worth probably what it, what 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 the cost was at the time. Um, I I was very lucky in finding. Um, a huge stash of uh, Gaboon Ebony Sapwood, which we, we never end up seeing because it ends up on the forest floor. Um, 
a large amount of coca bolo and a large amount of amazon rosewood um, all of these have to it's a lot of effort some some in you know partial log form where the heart the rotten heart's been cut out um, some of them in really nice 12 16 quarter uh, dimensional lumber but have checks and cracks and issues running through them uh, they're not all going to do gigantic beautiful um you know, here's a full palette for me to choose from and, and move around. They're going to be very specific in cutting around degrade in the boards. Um, but it's allowing me to use super high quality material that, you know, a lot of times if stuff sits in a garage or sits in a warehouse somewhere for decades and then someone passes away, whoever is in charge of looking at that material um, going in says, well, this is junk that's been sitting here for forever. Look, it's all cracked up and so on and so forth. And they throw it away. Um, or you know they, they burn it or, or who knows what and that's terrible when it is species that are now um, listed as endangered or creeping towards endangered so being able to utilize those um, it might be a three piece back it might be a four piece back um, it might only be usable in in certain size guitars uh, is kind of one of the goals of finding uh, these species with you know s finding these species that are the you know, high, high Q value uh, species, as well as working with um, sawmills. I've got sawmills in Mexico, um, working with them to come up with more sustainable um, options and sustainable species and getting those products, getting them here, and then letting them age. Because I like everything that is here um, to have hit, uh, you know, the four or five year mark um, of since it was cut, air dried, so on and so forth. Um, so hopefully that gives an idea of some of the, the thought process it should build and I'll post about it when I'm getting closer to um, listing things for sale. Um, I have people reaching out now and right now I'm just, I don't have the stock in certain things um, or don't have it ready, haven't sorted and, and done grading. Uh, Cause like everybody else doing, you know, the, the, the small shop stuff, you've got a, a million hats um, and that's where I'm at. So I'm trying to do all kinds of stuff. Um, Hopefully that gives a bit of information and I didn't ramble on too long. Have a great week and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to the channel and take care.